we got a large dumpster. <laughs> they just like quit on me. Not good. <laughs> Fingers crossed. I'm tired. <laughs> Hi everybody. Sorry, I'm a little bit out of breath. I forgot that I meant to um, film what we're doing today. My family and I, <laughs> we got a large dumpster and we're cleaning out most of the house, whatever we can. But the reason we got it uh, mainly was when my mom lived here, she kept one of the bedrooms for her cats and it's stinky <laughs> and gross. And so we are going to rip up the carpet today and throw it away. Um, I don't know if I should show you the carpet because it is pretty nasty. Just picture, it's pink, first of all. <laughs> And then just picture the worst stains that cats can make. <laughs> um, and I'm working on right now, this room is upstairs by the way, so that's why I'm so out of breath. I'm working on cleaning out this room. She also kept a lot of her clothes in here. And there's a lot of like nostalgic things from my childhood. <laughs> so anyway, that's what we're doing today. Um, let me go outside and show you what all I've cleaned out so far. Sweet puppies! They're loving it. I'm keeping the door open today and they're loving it. So here's our dumpster and then here's some of the things I've cleaned out so far. Mom had a lot of um, these organizational units for her clothes and her shoes and stuff. Oh shoot, this is a jewelry box. It's like a jewelry dresser almost much heavier than it looks <laughs> shoe racks leopard printed stuff is not my jam so that's what I've cleaned out so far we've got the dumpster part of the way full so I've been running up and down the stairs trying to clean this out other people are coming to help me sometime but I don't know when yet so <laughs> the closet was the worst of it and I just got that out still don't want to show you guys it's just not pretty but I have my old box cutter from when I used to work at a warehouse and so I was able to cut it into a strip and roll it up and then I guess I'm going to just start doing that all the way around also I found this tool that's supposed to be for ripping the tack strip up so I actually used that to get the carpet started. <laughs> I've still got one more piece of furniture that I think I can move. I don't know how heavy it is. The shelf over here, I know I can't move it because it's way too heavy. Um, I started about an hour ago. It's 12 right now. I started at 11 just emptying everything out. I'm tired. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so, I just finished getting all the carpet. <laughs> Um, this is kind of what we got going on. <sighs> um, going up and down the stairs is the worst, but also <sighs> pulling the carpet off of the tack strip is not the greatest. <laughs> anyway, I haven't, I've only done a little bit of the, what do you call that cushioning stuff? It's, no, I forget what it's called. I've only done a little bit of that from the closet and I have to take a break. So maybe by the time I'm ready to get back to it, my reinforcements will have showed up. Um, haven't heard from anybody, but I'm gonna just go sit on the porch and enjoy some leisurely fetch time with Benny. I forgot to say that it's 12.30, so that didn't take long at all, and um, that I looked it up and the stuff, the padding under the carpet is just called carpet padding. <laughs> so, there's that. It's now 1.30. Um, nobody's shown up yet. <laughs> Some of them are working today, so that's understandable. Um, so I got all the carpet out of that room. I'm not 
sure if I'm supposed to get that padding or not. Some of it was um, like beyond repair, so I got some of that. Oh, there's a bee. But at the moment, there's a lot of furniture we're planning to move too, and I, I just, it's too, it's not heavy, but it's too big for me to move by myself. So, Benny and I are just chilling. He really wants me to play fetch, but I'm so tired. And I did play for a while, but now I'm just trying to relax. It's a beautiful day. I don't know what the temperature is. Maybe in the 70s, high 60s, but the sun is shining. There's like two clouds in the sky. Um, and I just don't want to go back inside, honestly. <laughs> I just really would like some company. Nobody even has to help me do anything at the moment. I just I'm kind of bored. Also, some a lot of this stuff isn't even mine, and so I don't know. Like, I bet half of that stuff I could throw in the dumpster, but I don't know because it's not mine, and I don't know what everybody wants to do with that. Hey, everybody. I haven't checked in in a while. It's now about 5 o'clock. I did have some reinforcements show up and we didn't throw too much stuff in the dumpster, but we did carry some stuff to the road, including uh, a couch and a love seat that we don't want anymore. Um, hopefully somebody will just take that off of our hands. Uh, we put a free sign on it. Fingers crossed. I just came to the storage unit with Ben. <laughs> we came to pick up one thing in there that I want to throw in the dumpster and I'm hoping for some food soon. One thing I do want to talk about actually, whenever I'm busy and I'm moving furniture or doing a lot of work at the house, my hands, like my grip strength and my forearms, they just like quit on me immediately and it's so weird because I feel like I have a ton of energy and I've got lots of strength left but I can't hold on to anything because my hands aren't working. They're so tired. I'm gonna have to start doing like squeezy exercises or, or something for my forearms. But anyway, Benny and I are heading back. I'm gonna throw this thing in the dumpster when we get there. You so sleepy? We're both really tired. I accidentally woke up at three and didn't go back to sleep today. That's so silly. So we're gonna head back. Um, I might go to my mom's house because I think she said she might feed me. <laughs> so that'll be nice. Um, so I'll throw away the stuff. And then I think they're picking up the dumpster tomorrow and we have no idea what time. The guy's kind of um, eccentric a little bit. Uh, I haven't met him, but I've heard that. And um, so we're trying to get it full up as much as we can today, but I'm running on fumes. <laughs> Miss wake up at three in the morning and don't eat all day, <laughs> carry couches. Um, so yeah, food first and then hopefully I'll, that'll give me another burst of energy and I can finish the house stuff. But I'll check back in later. Hi everybody, it is now 7.30. We had dinner um, and I took a little break to let my food digest and luckily, as I hoped, it um, re-energized me. <laughs> and my hands stopped hurting as much. So I came into the room again and I've now gotten up the uh, padding stuff. Um, and now I'm gonna use the, the tack strip tool to try to remove some of the tack strip. So wish me luck on that because I've never done that before. Hey everybody. <laughs> so I didn't realize that I was about to completely leave you guys off on a cliffhanger um, of uh, wish me luck. I'm going to try to pull up the tack strip. <laughs> that's, that's the last thing I filmed. I did successfully pull up all the tack strip. It took me a minute to get the hang of it like to get a rhythm going with it but once I did it was pretty easy 
um, pretty easy. Some of them were not as easy as the others, but the tag strip is gone. I got the bigger pieces and I put them in a garbage bag and then I swept everything and put that away and then I vacuumed a little bit in here. So that's all done. It's going to be a while before we get new floors in here, I think. Um, we're just not quite financially prepared for that yet um, because we've got to put new floors in a couple other rooms. The whole downstairs, I think, we're going to do new floors and then a few, I think maybe three of the rooms upstairs. Maybe? I'm not sure. Anyway, we want to do them all at the same time, so we're going to wait. I forgot to mention, too, there was um, there was a leak from our air conditioner in the closet so the floor in there is basically like not good and then the um it leaked from the ceiling so the ceiling is also not good <laughs> so this room needs a lot of work it's probably the room in the house that needs the most um so getting the carpet out and all that stuff getting started on it was necessary and um, it feels like a huge weight off my shoulders honestly that we got that at least taken care of. The man came to pick up his dumpster and we had filled it mostly to the top. One person I think came by and took the couches and most of the other stuff we put out there, the um, organizational units and stuff. So that was pretty lucky. I was pretty happy about that. They were gone sometime that night. I think that's about it. I'll keep you guys informed of all the rest of our updates here when we do those. Thanks for watching.